welcome. Today we are going to be talking about genetically modified food. What do you mean genetically modified? Please sit down and let me tell you. Genetically modifying food is when we take a gene from either a plant or an animal. Let's say that I have a fungi tolerance gene. I got that gene from some plant or organism. If I give this gene to a plant, then the plant will have a tolerance against fungi, just like the plant or organism that I began with. But how do you transfer the gene? Well, there are actually two ways. The first way is crossbreeding. This started a long time ago, when a man named Gregor Mandel decided to breed a short pea plant with a tall pea plant. The product was definitely a mix of both tall and short. Some with more short genes and some with more tall genes. The final products were definitely all genetically modified. The other way is selective breeding. This way is easier and much more accurate. Is all we do is take something called a gene gun and we remove a specific gene from a plant or organism. Using the gene gun again, we give that gene to another plant. Here's an example. Let's say I have two tomatoes of the same kind growing in the same area. One tomato has been given a fungi tolerance gene, the other has not. As you can see, the one with the fungi tolerance gene is doing much better than the one that doesn't have it. So, the one that's been given the gene has been genetically modified. Oh, did I say that it was a good thing? Well, it can be. Like that it can help plants fight against diseases, frost, and drought. We can also give plants certain genes so that they can live in more harsh environments. This way we can grow more when we start running out of space. Although, there are also some bad things. Like the fact that we believe it might cause a new allergy. There is also a fear that some of the pesticide tolerance genes given to crops might transfer into weeds. This, therefore, making all pesticides useless. These bad things aren't proven to happen, but still make sure you watch out anyway. Do any of you guys like applesauce? Well, even if you don't, an applesauce-like substance might become your next cure for something such as the measles. You see, scientists are starting to work on veggies and fruits that are going to have a cure for things such as cancer. And it will be made into this so-called applesauce-like mixture. Oh well, I'm sorry, but it seems we're out of time. Bye, see you next time.